Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back. And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. You're a real one. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and you like what you see and you like talking about all things beauty and makeup, then maybe consider subscribing. No pressure though, only if you like what you see. And we also get into a little bit of commentary here on this channel as well. But today we are playing with new makeup. That's what we're doing. It's a get ready with me video, but I am killing a few birds with this one video, okay? I am trying out a bunch of new products for you guys, some that I recently picked up. I was just curious and I wanted to try them out, so we have the new ABH palette, we have the new primer from Milk Makeup, we have a new bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, there's a new concealer that I tried out that I can't pull out right now from Huda Beauty, we have a couple of new lipsticks from Rare Beauty, so yeah, there are tons of things here that we're gonna try out, and we're also going to fill you in on how it's been for me here in Florida since I moved, like what's life been, what do I find that's different from New York and what I've been enjoying. You guys are gonna get caught up with me in this video and like I said, we're gonna try out a bunch of new products. So it's a great way to like get ready, chat about new products, but also like catch you up on my life. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so as usual, we're starting off with a clean, freshly, it's not freshly washed. So. Things have changed. It is not a freshly washed face because it's been a couple of hours since I took my shower. I was working, doing laundry. I'm about to head out. So I said, hey, this is the perfect time to film a get ready with me because I want to play in makeup, even though I don't feel like actually wearing makeup to go out. Like I have nowhere I'm going, all right? I'm going to the liquor store and then I'm going over to my mom's house because my family is in town. We're doing a family reunion this week. Y'all pray for me. So we're doing a family reunion this week. So a couple of my aunties and uncles just made it in today. This is the first day of travel for everyone that's out of town. So I'm going over there. But I'm also going to the liquor store because I, I don't drink, right? But I'm going to pick up, hold up, hold up one second. I was picking up my little basket of things that I want to try out. So I'm going to be trying out new products as I already said in the introduction and we're killing multiple birds with this one video. I already said that, I think I did. So anyway, I'm gonna try out the new Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. All right, I don't know what the details are for this product. We're trying everything blindly. I'm not reading any specifications. And I'm just going to apply a little bit like I would a typical primer. And I don't have moisturizer on, but like I said, my face has just been living in its own natural essences. <laughs> that sounds so bad for the last couple of hours while I was working and doing chores. Right. So a couple of my family members have arrived. Oh, I'm going to the liquor store. That's where I ended with. So I'm going to the liquor store. I am breaking out, guys, along my hairline. I have pimples in it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think it's probably like an edge control that I'm using. But anyway, I am headed to the liquor store. I don't drink, but I might start. <laughs> Whatever. I don't drink because I don't like the taste of alcohol at all. It doesn't taste good. And then the aftertaste for me is just, bleh, you know? So that's why I don't drink. But I'm going to pick up a Johnny Walker Blue for my brother. They just got stock of it, so I'm headed over there to pick one up. His wife asked me to pick one up for his birthday gift. You know, Johnny Walker Blue is the most expensive, well, is it the most expensive Johnny Walker they have? Well, whatever, it's a specialty Johnny Walker, and it is expensive, and I found this liquor store where they have it in stock, so I'm like, all right, let me go grab it. So I'm gonna go get that, and like I said, head over to my family. It's a whole situation. So I went to this liquor store. Again, I'm new in Florida. I'm exploring the whole place. Like, I'm all over it, right? So this liquor store I went into because I wanted to get the small bottles of liquor to do goodie bags for the family event. So we're doing the family reunion event. The big event is on Saturday. So I ordered the t-shirts. I got to pick up the t-shirts tomorrow. I also got to go to Walmart to pick up the banner 
thing. Oh my god, I was so nervous that it wasn't gonna be completed because I ordered it on Monday and they said I wouldn't get it till Saturday, but Saturday is the event, so I was like, oh my god, is it gonna be ready? And thank God it's ready right now. So I'm gonna go do a couple of things, pick up um, the bottle of liquor and then the banner. So that's great. So I'm exploring, I found this liquor store and I went to get the little small bottles for the goodie bags, like I said. And there was a sommelier in there. He's a level two. Apparently he's not a level three like Amber Heard, but he's a level two. And he was speaking about wines and my sister-in-law, she, drinks okay my brother and her drink they like having a glass of of whatever you know if it's hard liquor he likes johnny walker and um i don't think he likes hennessy but he he likes johnny walker and she likes wine so she wanted to get a certain wine that she had tried that tasted really good and i was like hey i met the sommelier at the liquor store because he was talking to me he was helping me behind the counter he wasn't supposed to but i, I listen okay and he was in there and I was like, they have a sommelier so he can recommend something for you. So she wanted a wine that was a little bit sweet, but not too sweet, right? So he recommended one for her and it happened to be on sale. So she tried that out and then he recommended a wine for me because I don't drink. I told him, I'm like, I don't drink, okay, I'm not a wine drinker. And he's like, I bet you I can give you a wine that will make you drink wine. And I'm like, Tell me more, what are we saying here? Cause I don't mind getting into the sophisticated red wine drinking phase of my life, you know? Can you imagine? But I'll sit outside and, and, and watch the, the, the sunset and sip on wine. I can do that, I can be that person. Probably can't, but I was like, all right, I'll try it. Like, what are you saying? I'm like, I don't like the taste of liquor. That's why I don't like wine. I don't like any liquor and um, if I'm gonna do any kind of drink, it has to be a mixed drink and it has to be something sweet. Is this lighting? No, it's not working out, hold on. I think we should be fine. This camera is really good at auto correcting for color and lighting, which I love because that means I don't have to do as much correction when I'm editing. So my videos won't look green anymore. Y'all let me know, has the quality been better? Also this camera is a higher quality camera and if you film videos, another thing that you have to keep in mind, not just your camera and your lens and your lighting and all that, but also your SD cards. So the SD card that I'm now using, it's a really high speed one. It's meant for capturing um, videos in 4K. So you have to keep that in mind when um, filming and stuff. So what was I saying? Right, so he was like, all right, I'm gonna get you this one. So he get, got me the wine, it's called should I go get the wine so I can show you? It's funny, hold on. So this is the wine, it's a red wine and it's a sweet red, so it's Bon Bon. And he made me taste that in the store and I was like, all right, that tastes kind of nice. I could drink that, so I bought it and said, all right, I'll try it out and see how it goes. He also served it chilled and he's like, that's probably the best way to have it. Even though a lot of people have their red wine room temperature, so this has 12% alcohol by volume. Pretty significant. So we're gonna try that out. Anyway, I wanted to update you guys on how life is going in Florida while trying out these different products. This primer feels nice. It does take a little bit to dry down. So initially it felt a little damp. It doesn't feel slippery or silicone-y. It actually feels like a gel lotion and it applied really well. It wasn't tacky either and it didn't pull and it dried down really nicely. So there we have it. What foundation am, am I going to use foundation? I probably should. So spoiler, I haven't been wearing foundation here in Florida because it's hot outside and I don't think I necessarily, I don't need foundation all the time, but I do wear concealer. So we're gonna try out some new products that I picked up. I don't even know what I wanna try. Oh, I have an eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna do this one first. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. I wasn't going to pick this up, but I said, you know what, let me pick it up. I'm going to film a video with it, all right? 
see what I think because this is the newest palette release from ABH and also speak about ABH. How do you guys feel about ABH? Let me show you the swatches of this palette. It is a 12 pan palette. I believe it's $55. Which, when did these palettes get to $55? Wasn't Anastasia Beverly Hills like a 30 something dollar palette kind of girl? And maybe 40, but when did it get to 55? And why she thinks she could charge 55 for this? Ma'am, uh uh. So it has the typical Anastasia Beverly Hills layout. I do like the packaging. The packaging is this kind of muted uh, olivey green or a meadow green, I would say. And it looks like it should be fabric, but it's not fabric. It's actually like a coated cardboard texture. And it has this gold rim. And then inside it has more of a spring theme, I would say. It's a beautiful color story. It's simple. It's neutral. It has a little bit of olive leaning tones to it. And then there's a pop of lavender. And somebody in my comment says, this is an ode to Norvina. Since um, Anastasia took back the reins and said, girl, you are sinking my brand. I'm taking the reins back and taking over. So you guys see from the swatches, it's not a green palette, but it has a green feel to it. So it's a little bit more on the like the mossy green side, which I can mess with. So let's see how she goes. But the thing I wanted to ask about is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia specifically. With the Russian situation in Ukraine, Anastasia came under fire because she seems to be supporting the Putin side of things. And she is, um, I don't even know where she's from. Should I look it up so I don't lie? Hold on. So Anastasia is a Romanian and I do think Norvina was also born in Romania. I may be incorrect about that one, but they did immigrate to California. And, and during the Russian attack on Ukraine, Anastasia seems to have been supporting Putin because Someone that she follows, Dana Just Love, posted a photo of Putin and Anastasia commented on it with laughing emojis. And I don't know that that necessarily signifies that she supports Putin, but also it's not a good look because you're like, what's going on? We're not sure, but I don't know. Anastasia and Norvina have been rubbing me wrong recently anyway. Well, not even recently. For a while now. I just don't like their ethics. Oh my god, what is this? What is happening? Girl, this is the new Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So it's not new, okay? They've had um, Shadow Insurance, but they put it in the new packaging with a doe foot. And can you see that? What happened here? It looks like dry jizz on my eye. Like, who did this to me? I mean, I had it on and I left it for a little bit, but you shouldn't just be looking jizzy on me. Uh-uh. <laughs> Woo, child. Anyway, I don't know how to feel about them because Norvina herself and even Anastasia are very buddy-buddy with Jeffree Star. And I, I don't like that. And they've treated black creators really poorly in the past. And I just don't know. I just don't know. So I really don't, let me be honest, I really don't fuck with them. And I've tried out a few products and I have ABH products in my collection. I don't know what happened just now with this Too Faced, but let's keep it pushing. I'm gonna use a paint pot, but <laughs> I don't know, like what, what, what are we doing here? Like what, what, how do we feel? It's so crazy in the beauty space to always be on your P's and Q's when it comes to brands and you don't know who is doing what and who's getting into mischief with their nonsense. This is the Lane Low Paint Pot from MAC. I'm just gonna buff that all over my lids, over that shadow insurance because I don't know what that was, child. Um, did I have anything on my lids that would have caused that? I don't know. We'll try it out later, but apparently don't let it sit on your eyes before blending it out because flaky cum can then occur. <laughs> Whatever. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm 
feeling like I'm going to put them on a timeout because I'm not I'm not in the mood to deal with their nonsense. Grabbing my brushes. Let's see, do I have, yeah. I haven't unpacked all my brushes yet, so these are just the brushes that I packed with me in my Hero collection, which I will be posting that if it's not already posted, and I will link it over here. I figured out what side I need to link on, so this side. So, this is probably going to be one of the last things that I try from Anastasia, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to start out with the shade Floor, which is a light tan shade, and I'll just buff that in the crease. Should I zoom in? Do you guys want to come up close, sir? Yeah, that should be fine. And let's just blend that in the crease area. Ew. All right, I'm going to do something that I never do. I'm gonna use the mirror in the palette as my mirror because right now the way my setup is my mirror is kind of at an angle and then the camera is over here so I want you guys to see what I'm doing so I'll just use the mirror huh. am I going to function well doing this I don't know but just buffing that in the crease it's a cute wait I picked up the wrong color sorry I grabbed a bit of metro hair which is like a terracotta so the floor shade is a lighter tan and then metro is this terracotta guess we're going with it and I'm just trying to create some dimension in the crease so Florida right Florida has been non-stop since I've gotten here I have not gotten a break like I can't okay it's just been non-stop unpacking buying stuff to put in the new apartment furniture organizing decorating seeing my mom doing like seeing family graduations like there have been events non-stop and now we're culminating into this family reunion situation and i'm on the planning committee and they have meetings and it's just break and I am tired okay I am tired and I need to sit down I just want to sit down <laughs> like I legit just want to sit I want a break I want a break from my family I am tired of seeing them <laughs> I know that sounds bad but I'm so tired of them let's grab the shade Liberty which is the olive tone we're just using all the mattes in this palette and this olive shade is the darkest matte so it's just I used to live on Long Island in New York and my aunts, uncles lived in Queens, my mom lived in Brooklyn. So I didn't see them as much. I saw them maybe every couple of months, but there'd be weeks between when I last saw them, right? So I had time to myself. And people would ask me like, why did I move all the way out to Long Island? Or why did I go that far out? And the excuse was always like, yeah, 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 I moved out here. For work because I was closer to work right and and that was true that was true but also one of the benefits was that I had my alone time you guys probably already know I'm a loner I love being alone I love my personal space like leave me alone I'm not an extra I mean I can be extroverted but I am mostly an introvert I'd rather be home I'm a homebody like leave me alone and my family is very they're very draining because they expect me and I mean that's kind of my fault too but there's this expectation that I'm the fun grandchild I'm the fun cousin I'm the fun niece you know so there's always a good time when Tina comes around the party can start everybody's gonna have a good time right so there's that expectation so I just can't go and just chill in the cut like I gotta be on and I hate having to always be on do you know what I mean? It's tiring. All right, let's do some shimmer. I'm going to grab Hope. The shimmers in this palette are a little bit different than some of the other shimmers from Anastasia. And even compared to other brands on the market that are doing like really sparkly loose shades, these are more of your traditional satin or frosty shades. And I like that. They're not high shine. They're not crazy like glittery or sparkly. And these are the kinds of shimmer shades I like because they're not falling all over my face and falling into my eyes, all right? I do like a good shine, you know, but can I get the shine without the fallout and without the sparkle and the chunk and you know what I mean? So I actually really like the shimmers here. Anyway, so I'm always 
on and I hate having to be that person, you know? I hate that, like, having that responsibility of, like, carrying, <laughs> like, carrying the fun or everywhere I go, you know? Let's grab Muse. Muse is not a matte, but we're gonna use it as a matte. It's still a shimmer shade, but it's not high frost shine, like I said. So it should work well in this case to add a little bit of depth to that outer crease. So having to always be on is very exhausting, especially for someone who is more introverted and people just drain my energy. So every time I see them, I have to like recoup. And there's never a time where I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna see them for like an hour or two. Like it's always four, five, six hours. I get home late, I'm tired, and then I'm burnt out. And it's just, it's too much. It's too damn much. So living out on Long Island, I was away from them and I had the excuse of like, oh, it's too far, you know? I'm tired, I got stuff to do. Like I always had the excuse, you know? Traffic, you know? But now I literally am one mile from my mom and I think like seven miles from my brother. So it's like, there's no excuse, none. And then my mom's husband went to New York to do whatever, he's gone for the summer, he's doing the lifeguard, he loves swimming and he loves being a lifeguard, so now he's he's retired. So he's like, I'm getting into my life lifeguard um, bag and whatever, so he's in New York. His old ass really needs to come home, but he's in New York, all right? Let's grab Paloma. So now he's gone, my mom doesn't drive, I'm using this as a brow highlight and also to tame some of that dark brown. So my mom now doesn't drive, okay? She relied on him to take her on all her errands to go supermarket shopping go shopping period like whatever she needed done she relied on him and when i wasn't here she relied on my brother but my brother lives further away so i'm like all right i don't want to put my brother out all the time so i'll take up some of the stuff but now my mom like she's planning for this fan family reunion people are staying with her people are staying with me and like she, she just uses it as an excuse to just all the time wanting to go somewhere and do, and I'm like, mommy, I'm working, like, what the fuck? Like, I am so tired. But then I'm also like grateful that I have my mom, like I have my family, like I can see them. I'm gonna, wait, what am I doing? I'm gonna dampen this brush here. Um, I like doing this with these kinds of shimmer shades. Oh, I'm grabbing Belle. I'll show you. Let me show you what Belle looks like. This is Belle, which is like a medium tone bronze. So, I, I appreciate that I'm here with family. Like, that was the intent anyway. But I didn't realize just how much... <laughs> and I wouldn't realize how little time I would have for myself when I can just relax and breathe, film, play and makeup, like, just do my own thing without having to see them. <laughs> I have not gone a day, all month I've not gone a day without seeing somebody and like my nerves, I can't take it, I can't, this is pretty. See this is why I'm like, why does Anastasia and Norvina have to irk my nerves like this? Cause now I gotta cut you off cause I don't like, I don't, I don't mess with you. What, what else should we use? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's try a little bit of Lily. Let's pop Lily, um, on the out, like the outer lid, like outer lid going into the outer crease. This is the most sparkly shade in the palette and it's really pretty. You know, she, she's fine. She's, she's cute. It's not really the green green. But that, that works. I'm gonna grab a bit of wings. And I'll pop wings right here. So, it's hot, right? I'm sweating right now, but I didn't want to turn on the AC because it gets a little bit loud and I don't want to hear that while, you know, I'm editing. So, the AC is off. Well, yeah, it's off. And then my dryer is going, so like my door is locked, so I'm not even getting residual air so I'm hot and I'm in front of all these lights so I'm kind of sweating onto my titties right now but it's fine it's fine this is what I signed up for so all that to say that the weather here 
I love it so much. I know people say that Florida is hot and they complain about the heat. Like sweat is literally rolling down my breast right now. And I actually have some survival products that I want to do a video on for surviving the heat. Like products that I recommend. There's a specific one, a boob antiperspirant <laughs> that I can recommend. But here's the thing. I love this weather and I didn't realize, let me pull, pull out just a bit. I didn't realize how much I miss. Let me wipe off the brush. I put wings on the inner tear duct. Let's blend that out. I didn't realize how much I missed this weather until I was back in it. So I grew up in Jamaica. I left Jamaica in 2001. I was 18 at the time. So I spent 18 years in Jamaica. Like I'm a tropical girl. And then I went to New York and I spent the last 20 years there you know 20 plus years just rotating through the seasons and hating winter and hating the cold and i know you guys have heard me complain about it but i'd gotten so used to it that i didn't realize just how much i miss okay i have to turn the ac on hold on it is too hot it's not too loud so hopefully you guys don't hear that and it won't affect like the sound quality but I am sweating my tits off. Where is my foundation thingamajig? But, oh, I'm wearing, well, I'm gonna use the Il Maquillage foundation. Woke up like this, shade 160. It might be a little bit too light. Hold on now. I did get a tan. Like, I have gotten darker since I've been here, obviously. I'm in the sun. We'll work with it, okay? I like this foundation because it's lightweight and it's matte. And I have this matte primer on. The primer felt good. Let's see how that works. So, the weather, don't worry about me, girl. I love this heat. And I get to wear the shortest shorts, the shortest dresses. Like, I'm living my best life and I'm back in my element. And it's, I, I, pro I was probably on my period. I was probably on my period, but I was thinking about it and I almost cried. Like legit, I was tearing up because I realized how much I miss home. Like I miss Jamaica. Like, like you just get used to it. You're just getting by as an immigrant. And I don't know if any of you can relate. As an immigrant, you're in this country just tr trying to get by. Like you're trying to do the do. But you miss home and I miss home so much the food the people the culture everything like the weather and when I when when I got here I realized just how much I missed the weather okay I am so happy now I can just get up and go outside doesn't matter what I'm wearing like I just get up and go outside like I don't have to worry about let me check the weather app to see what's going on all I have to really worry about is if it's gonna rain or if it's raining, you know? And it mostly rains anyway, and I'm cool with that because that's the other thing. I love the rain. I love rain so much. Let's try a new concealer. We have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. This is the new one. It's the Luminous Matte, which... Luminous and Matte? I don't know, but I got shade Crumble, which is 7.1N. I, the other thing that someone mentioned I posted a video of um, the rain where I was trapped in my car because it was coming it was pouring okay but I love a rainstorm like thunder lightning oh I love it we used to play this game when I was a kid I did not put any foundation over my lips we used to play this game as a kid where we would stand by the windows right when there was a storm and we would wait for the lightning and then we would dive under the covers as fast as we could because we were like, oh, we're avoiding the bombing. I know that's kind of, you know, given what's going on, but that's how we played. We're like, okay, there's a bomb coming and we have to dive under the covers, protect ourselves before the bomb happens. And you know how lightning works? Like it's the lightning, then the thunder, but it's time, you know, the closer they are together, that's when the rain's gonna start. So we would really time it and try and wait until the last second to dive under the covers. And it was so fun. But I remember those things from my childhood. And we had hurricanes and tropical storms. And I just loved the rain. I've always loved the rain. 
but the rain in New York is a little bit different because it's cold and it it's not as enjoyable in Jamaica I would be out like I would go out into the rain like I would just be soaked from head to toe but I wasn't cold because it was warm you know and in Florida it's the same thing it's not cold it's warm rain and it's so cozy and I love it so much oh my god I love it I love storms so it's like I'm back in my element I'm really happy and the sunlight oh my god there's so much more sunlight I mean it's summertime New York would have sunlight right now but even in the winter time there's more sunlight here and I, it's it got worse for me as the years went by I hated winter so much and I I felt it you know that seasonal depression that comes with less sunlight in those winter months yeah I experienced that it wasn't like I wouldn't go as far as to say like it's seasonal it was seasonal depression or anything but I did like I didn't feel as enthused I didn't I wasn't as happy like you know you just weren't as excited to live and that sounds bad oh my god not like that but like I wasn't as excited to like be outside like living it up that's what I mean you know but here there's more sunlight there's always sunlight and it's just like I'm back in my element like I'm feeling I'm feeling my my oats you know my 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 roots I'm feeling it and I'm so happy I'm using the one size powder it's a translucent I need to powder okay it is hard outside this is why I haven't been wearing foundation because I don't need to not in this kind of weather child I'll do you know what do you guys want to see what I consider like a quick simple face for this kind of weather I can do that and show you like the products I've been okay this powder may not have been the best choice given that the foundation was a little bit lighter but we're gonna use bronzer we're gonna solve that don't worry about it so yeah the sunlight oh my god and then I don't know if you guys watched my room tour I will link it over here if I remember if not just go to my channel it, it's one of my latest videos but I have a water view okay it's a lake view there are a lot of water view properties here in Florida ooh that's the wrong shade I'm using the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer ooh you know what I should have used let me not use this let me not let me wipe the brush off hold on ew let me blend that out that shade was deep it's a little bit too dark and rich I should have used the house labs bronzer so house labs actually they reached out to me after my shopping block video <laughs> and they were like hey we want to send you some products your video was really funny and we do want you to try out the paint so the shade I have here is deep level 9 and it's a powder bronzer and I'm picking it up on a BK 101 brush which is one of my favorite brushes to use not only with cream products but also with powder products it just it applies products so well and it blends like look mm -hmm. so even though you know our foundation is a little questionable the bronzer is fine now I'm not gonna change my foundations just because I got a 10 and this is probably gonna be my perpetual shade now which is a problem because all my foundations are gonna be lighter and we're just gonna have to bronze a lot that's fine we'll make it work the concealer I like it the powder love it um bronzer love it too like look how <laughs> she cute or whatever you know so definitely loving the water view it's just so soothing and calming i get to look outside see the water and there's always like a breeze oh it's so nice and then i have ducks and it's so fun speaking of ducks the wildlife Woo! if you don't like let's try out this authorine blush from um menagerie cosmetics it's in the shade best buds she's really pretty they sent me this as a gift with purchase i'm assuming because i just picked up the new palette what is it called the sugar high palette and they included this it's shimmery though let's let's just bounce it out and see what happens it's a little bit too okay this would be more of a blush topper for me than a true blush could that mmm mmm <laughs> it's a little bit too glowy 
She fine though. She's fine. Um, let's try something else. Um, let's try one of these um photo surgeons. Photo is that what it's called? For, for, eh? What is she in this? Anyway, let me tell us say the wildlife. If you do not appreciate reptiles, where you come Florida for? Especially South Florida. So the shade I'm picking up. This is one of their. What are they called? these are their blush bombs so they're balmy products and this one is a brownie tone now you don't need a lot of this and they feel really cre oh maybe i did too much and this is a little bit too rich and dark it's a little bit more brown no that's cool that's cool it's like a mauvey brown she cool and going over this blush topper she's actually working out quite fine it's fine it's fine and it goes with this olive I'm trying to convince myself all right it's a little bit too brown so let me let me grab let me grab, let me grab inferno which is more of a like a pinky brown yeah like a terracotta brown yeah like a terracotta rose maybe so um the animals the animal has lots of animals okay they're ducks, which are cute. You're like, hey, ducky, you know. But there are iguanas everywhere. Okay? And my, but like I said, I have a water view, right? So iguanas are all about the water, right? And we have trees and shit. So now iguanas are all out there. They're just out there like, hey, bitch. And <laughs> they run from you, okay? They're scared of you, which I'm not scared of iguanas because they're big, like, they're big babies. It's fine. It's fine. And they're vegetarian, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Like, they're not going to attack me. And they're not really, like, aggressive animals. So it's fine. It's fine. You know? A little guana here or there. And there's some big bitches, okay? Me get boy. <laughs> no, y'all don't understand. The guana, them big, you fuck. Them big and them terrible. But that's fine. I don't mind an iguana, like I said. Are we going to use... No, I'm going to reserve the house labs for another video. Once I get the products that they sent my way, then I'll use them. And then I was going to use this rose ink one, but I'm going to reserve this also for a rose ink video. So let's use the Fenty. This is the Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder. The one I have is Pecan Oh, Lord. Pieces are falling out because it broke. Okay, it came broken. And I pressed it back in place so all the swirl is gone. All right. But we're going to use it because I think it works well as a highlighter. But I'm going to use my little Leah applicator because this works better with like fingers, a sponge, or something rather than a brush because it has this creamy. T I picked up way too much. That's going to be a lot. So I'm just going to lightly dab it and then wipe the Ilia off. I'm a little, yeah, and then blend her out. So, let me tell you now, the lizards are out and about, okay? Which I don't mind, right? But here you know, I, have, um, I also have turtles, okay? They're fine too, they're cute, you know? I have this big ass turtle that's outside. He sit, I thought she was laying some eggs, you know? Cause she was sitting down like in a, in a, in a spot, but I haven't seen her since, but we have turtles. We have squirrels, you know, squirrels all over the place, which is fine. But these squirrels are different from New York squirrels. They're not as chubby. So you see, it's just a little bit glowy. It's fine. Like, I like this this bronzy highlighter thingamajig. So they're fine. Like, the squirrels are skinny. They're not as fluffy as the New York squirrels. They're also not as aggressive. So, you like, I fucks with them, you know? They're fine. And then they're lizards. lizard you know it's fine they have like the little what we call in jamaica common lizards which are just a little you know little friendly ones they scurry around you know they they're more afraid of you than you're afraid of them they just run and shit and then you have these ones that are kind of unique to florida i've never seen them anywhere else um you know they may be in other islands in other states but they have the little curl tail so the tail curls and they're bigger than the little common lizard right those are cute too they run away it's cute they're cute but they're a little bit bigger they're a little bit more frightening but it's fine you know they run away i have frogs 
you know, frogs are all around the place, especially when it rains. Again, I'm next to the water, I expect, right? And then I have the local ducks, as well as the, like, the foreign ducks. <laughs> the little out-of-towners that, you know, think they cute. Like, they're bossy. They're the brown ones that think they sexy. It's fine. Ducks are cool. But, oh, and I have fish. Fish are in the, the, the lake outside. They, they jump. They jump. These fish jump. I have birds, of course. You know, you have the birds. But then I also have croaking lizards, which I hate with a passion. Despise croaking lizards. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lashes. This, this is such a good mascara. It rivals, it rivals the MAC, um, what the MAC one name? The MAC stock one. I like the two of them and I'm like that one here. I like it. And this has a different um, applicator. It's like a brush applicator. So it's different. But the formulations are very nice. I think the MAC stack just layers uh, a little bit better as far as volume goes. Like it gives you tons of volume. But this is like a nice everyday, like an everyday mascara, right? So the cooking lizard. Let me show you what a cooking lizard look like. If you don't know, if you're not Jamaican and you probably call them something else, the cocking lizards, they look translucent, okay? And then they have these big ass buggy black eyes, right? And they come out at night. I think they're nocturnal, right? And them look so slimy and nasty. And we consider them like the ghost lizards. But what, what I really hate about them is that they look very slimy and very wet. And when they slap, when, when they fall, they splat. And they look they're scary to freaking look at and they will just splat and hold on to you for their life so if anyone ever falls on you forget it okay bitch and they're slow and they don't run and they're not scared of you they're not like the little common lizard that are like oh my god run away she's coming nah they stand their ground and i'm like beach we're not gonna have that all right because no i'm gonna deal with crocking lizard i don't like crocking lizard so i'm having a problem with the crocking lizard but i don't have too many thank god okay i don't have a lot that hang out here all right and 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 they aren't over my door which would drive me nuts let me start packing stuff into my basket while i i continue telling you about florida right so the crooking is i don't like it okay the traffic traffic where hmm, hmm, where like i can drive freely without the headache of travel traffic i mean there's traffic you know here or there if something happens like if there's road work or an accident or or police activity traffic <laughs> oh, i don't know her anymore that is such a good feeling to just go drive and not worry about endless traffic that is so great and the roads for whatever reason are much better than new york i don't know if it's the weather how they build the roads, whatever it is it's much better than new york so that has been a pleasure. Driving here has been much easier. The people here can't really drive. And I just think Americans can't drive, period, because y'all test is just too easy to pass and I don't understand how people fail the test, okay? I've never understood that. My cousin failed that test how many times? Four times. And she just gave up. But I don't understand how you fail the test because it's so, it's so easy. The written test, well, okay, you know what? Maybe it's easy for me. But like the test in Jamaica, the driving test in Jamaica, it's a whole situation, child. You have to do like the, I don't know if they still do it, but you have to do the bridge start and you have your, your testing with um, a, a stick. So you better learn to drive stick here. It's just, I've never, pff, that test was so easy to pass, child. One and done. I passed that test the, the one time I did it and I practiced parallel parking for our, the day before the test. That's the only thing that I, I wasn't really like, doing in jamaica but child the test so easy do they even do parallel parking for every test or is that like state specific i know definitely in new york you have to do parallel parking but girl that was so easy i can't parallel park like a champion i what are you i what are you okay lips i have the new two of the new rare beauty lipsticks these are new to the line and I have lip liners as well. So yeah, driving here has been a treat. You know, people can't drive, but I'm, you know, it's fine. And then the people, why are they so, like, I know it's it's Southern and thing, but I didn't think Florida was like really Southern. 
They're so nice. People at the store, the cashiers, the the, the people at, at restaurants, everybody's nice. Like, like not overly nice either because I don't like that southern hospitality, if I'm honest with you. I don't like people being really nice and like talkative and stuff. But people here are nice. Like, they're not angry. I Like, I've been to many stores because, again, I'm like shopping for stuff. But people here have been such a treat. Like... And the New Yorker in me is not used to that. I mean, New Yorkers are fine. You know, they're helpful or whatever, but they a lot of them have an attitude. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's always a, ooh, this can go with my, my chocolate shirt. I'm using the shade Strong, which is a deep brown shade. And this was the only one that I was interested in. I said, you know, screw it. Even though I said I wasn't gonna pick them up, I said, let me try them out. Let me just put this on really quick. This this mm, this formula is low key fire. I'm liking this formula. Ah, uh -uh. but yeah, the people, mm hmm, they're nicer for sure. Just the 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 customer service is so much better. It it's friendlier. So mess with the people. I like the people. The clothing I spoke about that um I get to wear whatever. I don't have to worry about the um the the weather. You know, I just wear whatever and I get to wear what I grew up wearing, you know, comfortable clothes, shorts, dresses. I'm so comfortable in little clothing. So I am loving it. My niece is kind of weird though. My niece is a weirdo. Don't tell her I told you that, but she's a weirdo. We went out shopping um, for the, the, like the party supplies. Tell me why this girl was in a full black suit black top right and long sleeve you know i mean it wasn't like a heavy material it wasn't like a sweater but it was still long sleeve and then she had on um what you call the pants them it's not cargo it's um you know the pants that matter but she, i'm on one black pants you know okay she oh god and then she had on this like waist trainer belt looking th it's not a waist trainer but it was like a belt but it's kind of like a really wide belt that looks a little bit waist trainer ish she is an odd bird she's I don't know what her style is like it's dominatrix meets gothic meets Harajuku like I don't know cuz she wears these little mini skirts like she's really into little tiny skirts and but then she wears like combat boots with the self-expression that's not my business but i'm like my girl and then she gonna bring a sweater with her i may look on her like i'm in shorts and like one of these little shirts i'm like where y'all got my girl you're not gonna act i don't want your sweater to smell near me you know you're not gonna act and she up the sweater she really put on the sweater and I'm my girl mm -mm. I, so i don't get her i don't you know teenagers it's fine it's fine it's weird and then my family's really critical and I know the new generation doesn't really do, deal with that well. Because we'll be the first one to be like, I want y'all wear. <laughs> like, you know you look crazy, right? Like, we will tell you that. And that's not nice. Um, I'm trying to do better, but I'm still that. Because I the I took one look at her. I'm like, oh, we have on. No, I'm not related to you. And I tell her what I am not related to <laughs> I, I just used the lip liner from Rare Beauty too. This is in the shade Strong as well. So they're, it's matching the lipstick. This is fucking cute. This is cute. I can fucks with this. Okay, I need earrings, all right? I need earrings and I need to finish up, like, get a necklace and stuff. Hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Girl, I am so hungry. Uh-uh. I just realized I didn't eat all day. Mm-hmm. That's what, yeah, that's what happened. I didn't eat all day. I'm about to go over to my mom. I think she cooked. I don't know what she cooked, but I'll just grab something to eat there. So, um, yeah, I was saying that... <sighs> loving it right i'm loving florida and the last thing to note is how quiet it is i did not realize how loud it was in long island like i thought long island was quiet because new york city is loud as hell like brooklyn queens oh that ambient noise there's always a siren always there's always noise and it's always going right but florida Like, I had loud neighbors, 
And now I don't hear my neighbor at all. Mind you, the buildings are built different. They're made from concrete and not just insulation and wood because they have to kind of withstand hurricanes and storms and stuff. So they're built a little bit more sturdy. So they're probably a little bit more soundproof, but I don't hear my neighbors. Okay, and maybe that's owing to my neighbors too. Like maybe they're just not loud. But I, did you, guys, I love it. Like it's so quiet. Like no loud sounds. Like nothing crazy. It's peaceful, and I, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of Wise. This is also one of the. That don't make no difference. Me the thing said that I do an ombre like a little light thing in the middle. It not do nothing. This lipstick is really comfortable. All right, good job, Selena. <laughs> I didn't really doubt you necessarily. I just didn't like the pinky shades, but but this chocolate, which was the one she was wearing in the promo image, really works. So like the quiet, loving it. Like I am so happy in Florida and a couple of you guys mentioned also in my last couple of videos that I seemed really happy and it wasn't that I was unhappy in New York I was kind of right but not like oh I'm so unhappy but it's just I found my joy in Florida with the weather with the family not so much the family them need to leave me alone I love them I love them, I love them but them too much <laughs> like I need my alone time but y'all don't understand and even my job like I would probably it was the job that I wasn't really feeling so I wasn't happy like in the last year or so like job wise because I you know but now like my job is so fun <laughs> like who thought I would say that like there's so much to learn it's so fun it's so different there's so many things like so many moving parts but like I'm not stressed about it. It's really relaxed. My manager is amazing. The people that I work with, amazing. And I get to work from home. <laughs> Just knock my stuff off. But I couldn't ask for anything better. Like I am so happy guys. I am, yeah, I'm definitely happier. I will say that. But it's not necessarily that I was unhappy. It's just, you know, things are so much better that you probably see it in my spirit. And I do feel it too. Like, whoo, things are much better here. I'm telling you guys, I'm so happy. Like, the joy, the tropical joy that I am feeling. But I wanted to give you guys an update. Shall we talk about the products? So, one bird already done, okay? I think we did a couple of other birds too. But let's talk about the products that we tried. Primer. I like how it feels. I like how it applied. It doesn't feel tight. And the foundation glided over it without tugging. So if it keeps me matte, I'm all about it. I did like this. And it doesn't have a smell, does it? Mm -mm. You know what? Men can use this too. Maybe they'll be a little bit more comfortable with the matte black packaging. But this is sexy. You know how men are with this. Just use anything. Like, what's your problem, all right? But this, I think men would like this too. I'm just saying, if you don't wear makeup, not even just matte, if you don't like makeup but you want something that keeps you matte, she cute because she didn't leave like, you know how you can leave like this dry cast behind when you're mattifying? No, this really did a good job. So loving that. The eyeshadow primer, that Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Drew's out because it didn't, I don't know what that was that it was doing, okay? The eyeshadow palette, I like it, but I don't like Anastasia Beverly Hills anymore. I like, we're putting them on timeout. Like, I'm still, like, feeling, you know what? Nah, I don't even know that I need to feel them out. Because that whole Jeffree Star thing rubs me the wrong way. Like, why are you so, you know, whatever. ABH, we can do without it. And it's a $55 palette. So, is it nice? Does it look nice? Yes. I mean, but it's a simple palette that I can probably find anywhere else. So, I like it. Okay, so if you wanted if you wanted my feedback, I do like it. I think it's very nice and I like the shimmers because they aren't chunky or sparkly. So I like it. I just, I'm not messing with Anastasia. The foundation I've tried before. So, you know, the new shade, I was going to say, oh, I found my perfect shade. And no, I didn't because I darkened up. Maybe I can find another, maybe I should, should I? It's expensive though. We'll see. We'll see. But foundation is fine. The bronzer, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I tried initially, I'll reserve judgment for that because I have another video coming up where I'm doing a makeup matchup. 
but the um, house labs I like the bronzer and again I'm gonna do a separate video once I get some more of the products that they're sending my way so look out for that the what else did we try the blush what blush did we use the authorine blush from menagerie that was pretty but it's more of a topper because the shimmery it was pretty so I didn't really get into that the um Vital Surgeons one I'm liking them I'm still testing out the formulation to see if it's long-lasting but the formulation as far as application goes the colors how they blend out I love the texture I love the formulation it's it's creamy without being greasy you know and they blend really nicely and they look pretty on the skin so I do like them so there's that and then we use the the Fenty Beauty highlighter I like it because it's subtle it's not a highlighter it's a shimmery bronzer but it gives a very subtle sheen to the cheeks which I like but you may not like that and the color works for me like I look glowy without looking too you know like too much so I do like that and what else did we try the lips I'm loving this the lip liner beautiful the lipstick beautiful mm-hmm mm -hmm. the concealer I like as well like that apply it applied really well okay the color was really good for my complexion it blended out nicely I think it dried down well not too shiny I like it but I think Huda does decent concealers anyway so if you can find your shade match and you're in the market for a new concealer I like the applicator as well it had this little like spoon <laughs> it looks like a little spoon whatever that was nice the one size powder I do like as well um, all over the face I did apply it all over the face because I need something mattifying but I think I prefer it under the eyes I still will stick to my Kosas powder all over the face in fact let me put a little bit on cuz I don't want to shine what else did we try out the mascara I love the mascara I think it's a great mascara what else I think that's it I didn't try anything else out did I coconut water great the bon bon wine <laughs> nice I gotta put that back so my cousins don't drink it because they're staying here and other than that yeah that's all I have let me know what you guys think I will show you the hair color once I wash my hair I did do a preview on Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram you probably already saw it or on snapchat because I just post what I post on Instagram and snapchat so you probably already saw the hair it's a little bit lighter I don't know if you can tell but I tried to blend it a little bit more you still see like a couple of sharp lines but I don't care like it works for me right and then when it's straightened it looks it looks nice so I like it um but when I wash my hair again and wear it down I'll show you I don't wear my hair down as much in the the heat because it's hot and if you want to see that summer video where I show you some of my hero products for surviving hot weather let me know that would really fit in for the summer so I'm gonna do that anyway and what else is there to talk about that's it I'm just catching up with you guys that you know how Florida's going <laughs> I'm still working on my moving video it is taking a lot longer to edit and I haven't had time to film because like I said a lot going on and now I have this reunion I'll probably do a vlog of my reunion so you'll probably see some of my family stuff and all of that but I'm headed out to the liquor store and also to Walmart to pick up the banner so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching I will leave a full list of all the products used in this video down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up if those links have an asterisk next to them that indicates that it is an affiliate link which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through that link it is a great way to show your support it does help me to put right back into the channel but it doesn't cost you any extra because it doesn't change the sale price it just gives me a kickback for you using my link so I do appreciate it if you shop through my links thank you so so much but if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss I will also leave my link down below to buy me a coffee that's where you can buy me a coffee you know cuz I'm thirsty or buy me coconut water which is really what it is that's what I'm drinking I'm just saying if you're so inclined I think that's down below as well and I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along and let me know what you want to see so like I mentioned there will be a video with rose ink products 
with house lab products and we're gonna do a makeup matchup with bronzers I want to do that before I do the one with mascaras because I think that's a little bit more timely for the summer season and I'm gonna do a hero products for surviving the summer heat I'm also going to probably do a little bit of vlogging for my vacation and also for my family reunion so keep keep your eye out for those things and other than that I'm just gonna have fun with makeup and I'll share with you the things I find along the way and we'll also just do chatty videos because I like doing those a lot so I hope you guys are all staying safe and doing well and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys